There have been a lot of changing going on with our channel these past couple weeks. As you know, those of you that follow our devotion channel, we've started a devotion channel completely and specifically for our devotions and our inspirational talks. Again, we did that because we felt there would be more freedom for us um, because we're addressing a specific audience. Not everybody that comes to this channel uh, is a believer, and we understand that. So please, if you haven't liked or if, if you haven't been over to visit our devotion channel, please be sure to do that. We've also... Um, have started a, an old radio show program, so please check that out if you haven't yet. The links are below. But with this channel, we've got another change coming, and we can call it our spring cleaning since we're technically still in spring. We're going to be changing the name of this channel, and we did that because, well, Family Heritage Living has been around for a while, and it, the title speaks for itself, and the title also carried over to the devotion channel. There's a lot of heritage to give in a family, and especially uh, for believers. So the name still stands true, but here we wanted to encompass a little something different. And I think you guys will really like the change to the name. Um, it's some, a term we coined last year, and we thought we would just go with it because it suits us and it fits us. All right, we just ask y'all to um, continue to hang with us as we do this changing and know that we've got a plan and a vision. And we hope you enjoy this video. We will talk soon. Yeah, you know, after cycling through winter and you get into it, you know, you get into habits and trying to come from one season to an next, especially with the way we live is really, I don't want to use the word challenging because it's not really challenging. It's just getting out of old habits. Um, the warm weather has come on so quickly for us and I'm still finding myself things that need to be cool. I put in the ice box. It's like an hour later. I remember, oh wait, that's not working. Our creek's working out really well with our uh, creek boxes. Daisy, what are you doing, honey? <laughs> Goodness. Um, working out really well. Keeping the, you know, the things cool in the creek boxes, but then we run into other problems. You know, like I keep, um, we cook with a lot of whole food. So I have a lot of potatoes, a lot of carrots, a lot of onions. And they really deteriorate real quickly when you don't have... Um, refrigeration or you don't have that root cellar you, um, you don't have that cold I have no idea why that was so dark a second ago to keep you know give them extra lifespan so I came down here I've got um, our, our poor creek we're gonna have to do something and we have to be on top of the rain it's, you know right now it's just such a dry spring we're looking like a bucket central down here um, over in that bucket there I've got potatoes and sawdust and the reason I did that was because I don't want to keep the potatoes in the spring so I don't like my potatoes super cold I just like them chilled I want to get the potatoes down they were at room temperature and once I get them cool then I'll put them in the bottom of the ice box with the sawdust in there it should keep them cool long enough for me to use them I've got uh, these heads of cabbage I need to ferment and I'm just not ready to do that um, yeah would you put the bucket of cabbage I was talking about into the creek. Um, so anyways, the I just want to get those chilled until I'm ready to use them. Because I mean, like if I, even if I don't use them for three days, but as warm as it's been, they just deteriorate so quickly and you want to keep that stuff optimal. Uh, push that lid on tight. I left it off to show and I did not. Yes, thank you. So those buckets with the potatoes and the um, cabbage do not have holes in them. We're just setting those in there to get them cold. In fact, we talked about I thought this was kind of an interesting idea. Doing a bucket that's like that, but where it's suspended in the deeper part with cheese and butter. Just, to, you know, that stuff's good for a long time outside of being refrigerated. But it's just, you know, if you can keep it cool, it's just all the better. So that's where we're at with that. I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor I don't mind selling out or playing cover song Just as long as friends and family sing along And I don't need more money or a faster car no. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar no. 
gonna take this little house and make a home. And then I'll never have to face my nights alone. Cause in my heart I hear speak. And on my face I feel you breathe. Next to me, to by land, by air, by sea. And that is how it's supposed to be. Close my hand. Now, and that much I can see. Now. I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shelf. How rare it is that I stay up past 12 In the backyard we are going to start a garden If that don't sound mighty good, I beg your pardon It's in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me Two by land, by air, by sea And that is how it's supposed to be Now And that much I can see Now If they don't love us, we don't need them They're called chicken for a reason Let's find our own brand of freedom If they don't love us, we don't need them Let's find our own brand of free. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. So you mind telling anymore. me why anymore. this post is in front of the door? Glad you asked. <laughs> the children wanted to plant trees the other day. Oh! So we went around and planted trees around the chicken coop. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Okay. No, we're using them for fence post. We got a couple rolls of chicken wire, and hopefully in a couple of days we'll get the chicken wire up. And the chickens will be much, much happier. And this is just where the gate's gonna. Obviously, where the skate is, so we're just gonna leave the gate there, and that's in the new post. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Expanding the coop. Expanding the coop. One of our favorite meals is pizza. Um, we were having pizza tonight, and I would sprinkle a little bit of cornmeal on my sheet, uh, like they do in the big pizza places. We love to have sourdough pizza crust. It's just this fabulous, perfect crust to go. It's never doughy, it's never too airy, it's just perfect. Um, we don't have to let it rise after we've, we've got it all mixed up. We have a variety of pizzas that everybody likes. Um, just the standard cheese pizza is a perfect thing that everybody can dig their teeth into. But tonight I'm making a pizza, an extra special pizza for myself and for Zebulon and for RJ. It's a meatless pizza night, but tonight we're going to have several different veggies on it. Um, we love pineapple. and mushrooms. 